Before beginning any project in microbiology, including this one, wash your hands and disinfect your tabletop with alcohol. Assemble all of the equipment that you'll need for your experiment. In this case, a stock broth culture, a tube of sterile broth, an inoculating loop, Bunsen burner, and lighter. Label the sterile media with the date, your initials, the initials of the bacteria, and the type of medium. You may also be asked to add your instructor's initials or your section identification number. Now, light your Bunsen burner and adjust the flame so that you have a nice inner light blue cone. Okay, now for the actual transfer. When you first start working in the micro lab, it may seem a bit awkward, but we will be making many transfers and it should soon seem easy to you. First you need to sterilize your inoculating loop by moving it through the flame. This should be done from the base of the loop all the way to the tip. It is most efficient to do this in the hottest part of the flame, namely the tip of the inner light blue flame. Be sure that the entire wire it gets red hot. Allow the loop to cool for a minute. Hold the loop in your dominant hand. For most people this will be their right. Hold the stock culture tube in your non-dominant hand, usually the left. Now, unscrew the top of the tube with the pinky finger of the hand holding the loop. Keep holding the cover with your pinky finger. Also, keep in mind that whenever you have tubes open, you should hold them at a slant to prevent contaminants from falling into the tube. Pass the top of the tube through the flame a few times. This will incinerate any contaminants on the edge of the tube. During all of our procedures, after opening a tube, the top should be passed through the flame, and before closing a tube, the top should be passed through a flame. Okay, so you should be holding the loop and the cover to your tube in your dominant hand, while holding the stock culture tube at a slant in your non-dominant hand. Hold the loop perfectly still, and slide the tube up the loop to get your bacterial specimen. The trick here is not to let the loop touch the sides of the tube. Flame the top of the tube, screw the cover back on it, and set it back in the test tube holder. You should see a film across the loop, just like when you were blowing bubbles as a child. That may contain thousands of bacteria, and they're ready to be placed into a sterile media. Open the sterile media using the same method as you did previously. Flame the top of the tube and hold it at a slant. Hold the loop with the bacteria steady and insert the tube of sterile media up onto the loop. Take care not to touch the sides of the tube. Keeping the loop in one hand, flame the top of the test tube and screw the cover back on. Set this tube in the test tube rack. Now repeat the flaming procedure to sterilize the loop before setting it down. Okay, let's watch that whole process without my interruptions. The tube that you have just inoculated should be put in the incubator. If you were successful, when you return, the broth will be nice and cloudy, indicating bacterial growth. Now dispose of the stock culture as directed by your instructor, clean up your area, alcohol your table, and always wash your hands when you're done.